Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today it is the 9th of May, 2024. Let's see what's in your energy today. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you watch this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, Pisces, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Messages for Pisces today. We've got four. That gift. I did see the gift. So you have sudden wealth. You have wealthy man. So there could be some sudden wealth coming from a wealthy man. Someone that could be a traveler. He's getting a ticket. She's got a ticket to ride. I don't know, is that the Beatles? That song could be significant. You've also got toil and labor and coffin. So there's something ending. Could be something with money, with a job, change a job, but there's something changing. So something's ending, but there's something new coming. You know, a gift, as you can see here. Let's grab out the tarot now, Pisces. You've got coffins, so as I said, there's, you know, it could have something to do with work. It doesn't have to. It could be something to do with love. But then you've got sudden wealth coming, so something un unexpected, something that's going to bring you abundance instantly. It could be coming from a wealthy man, as I said, so... This could be a boss. This could be someone that owns their own business. Someone that travels for work. There's some type of action forwards I feel towards you though. Pisces. Messages for Pisces. The Page of Pearls. So the Page of Pearls is... Pearls are pentacles on this deck. Then you've got the queen of pearls. The king of swords. The hierophant. The center of your reading, you've got the world. So a completion, an ending, head above the clouds. Look at that. And then you've got a new cycle coming out on that. So an ending, as I said, brings a new beginning. You've got the event horizon. The sun. The Ace of Cups. And the Age of Aquarius. On the back of the deck, you've got Temperance and the Six of Pearls. Something is coming in the physical. I feel it for you, Pisces. Something is coming in the physical. So I think sudden wealth. No, I think it might have. There's either sudden wealth or unexpected income. So, you know, this could be just extra money. Extra money in your pay packet. You could be seeing the number seven. <clears throat> I have been seeing the number seven this morning, 777. Seven is a lucky number, so luck is on your side. What is the page of pearls? What's the page of pearls for Pisces? 
So you have the Queen of Wands. Contact. And the King of Pearls. Collective Consciousness. So, Page of Pearls, Younger Energy, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. There's something coming together, something new with the page also coming out. It could be a younger energy. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone that has Earth in their chart. It doesn't have to be that either. It could be someone that you're working on something with because you've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Pearls. So I feel like this person's energy is that King of Pentacles energy. You've got that wealthy man also coming out. Earth energy, someone that's focused on money. This person could be from that generational wealth. Uh, this could also be someone that is a boss, a leader, someone that, you know, has ambitions also. But I feel like this person looks at you like someone like that, someone that's passionate, someone that's fiery. You may have fire in your chart, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You don't have to be, but there's tigers are also coming out. Tigers have been coming out the last two days. There's some type of contact, okay? So there's something new starting, you know, with the Page of Pearls. And as I said, it could be something in the material world. You've got collective consciousness. So there's this coming together of people on, on a mission, people on the same mission. But you also could be working on healing with this person too you both are coming together to heal what is the queen of pearls what's this queen of pearls for pisces so we saw the king of pearls you get the knight of swords the knight of wands The Empress, the Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hanged Woman. A lot of cards. So, yeah, there's some type of new beginning. As I said, it could be something in the material world. It doesn't have to be. It could be, you know, love. Bringing things together to make that Ten of Pentacles. This is you, Pisces. There's a new cycle happening. You've got the hanged woman coming out, Pisces energy. This is you, someone that is looking at a situation now from a different point of view. You are coming out as two knights here. So there's a lot that you're doing. You could have a lot on your plate at the moment, working on a lot. You could be a mother or a parent also um, in feminine energy. So you don't actually have to be a woman, just someone in that feminine energy of giving, nurturing, but the wheel is turning. There's a new cycle. The wheel is turning in your favor. And you've got the Queen of Pearls. So that's someone that's focused on money. They could also be focused on family. Um, but there's a lot of passion. You're someone that's being daring. You've also got, you know, the Knight of Swords. So someone that's moving fast. Um, using logic also to move forwards. Um, someone that's nothing's going to stop you okay so there's this energy of you being this focused person on money no matter what the sex you are but you've also got the nine of wands here so you're someone that you know has had something hurt them in the past some wounded warrior energy but you've also got those boundaries up uh, while you do move, move forwards i feel like you you may feel a bit hurt also, while you move forwards, but you are healing slowly. What's the King of Swords? What is the King of Swords for Pisces? So you have that collective consciousness. The Three of Cups, the Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. On the back of the deck, you've got the star Aquarius energy. So the king of swords, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So 
They could be, you know, this person that you're working with. This person could be someone that is online. This could be someone that lives at a distance. But I feel like this is a new opportunity coming in. Uh, this person could be walking in um, to get some type of healing from you. You've got the Three of Swords coming out. So there's some type of misfortune in this person's life. This is someone that, you know, as I said, is a logic thinker, someone that doesn't show emotion. I also feel with that King of Swords, there's two birds flying in different directions. It's like, I feel like this person is trying to make a decision, you know, and you've got choices here. So, you know, I feel like this person's trying to make an option after some type of heartbreak or misfortune that has happened in their life. I feel also with the Three of Cups, you know, the Three of Cups is, you know, happiness coming together. You know, it can also mean a three-party situation, but I feel like there's a coming together, there's a celebrating together with this person after some type of heartbreak. Um, and I feel like you both coming together, like you're part of like some type of soul tribe or soul family uh, with the collective consciousness. So this person is someone that doesn't show emotion, but this person's making the decision um, to want to come forwards and show you some emotion. Yeah, I feel this person's coming out as a lot of different kings. So this person could be an emperor. This person could be a parent, a father. So for the Hierophant, you have the chariot. So the Hierophant, Taurus energy could be significant. The Nine of Cups. So this could lead to, you know, marriage, doesn't have to be the Hierophant, you know, is a commitment, but it's also two people coming together to, you know, to learn the lessons. It's like that collective consciousness of coming together. And then you've got the Nine of Pearls. So this person's going to bring in that new beginning, that Ace of Pearls which brings in the Ten of Pearls, okay? Because you sit in this Nine of Pearls energy. I feel like you're coming together with someone and you're working with someone. You've got that group think coming out and there's some type of movement forwards with the Chariot. Cancer energy could be in this person's chart. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like this is what you've been looking for, okay? Okay because you've got divine fulfillment. This is something that I feel you look very attractive to this person. You're someone that's independent. You're someone that's working on yourself. You're someone that's working on your dreams. You have that nine of pentacles. This person wants to come in and bring in, I feel that extra pentacle to, to give you that complete 10 of pentacles, okay? So this person wants to fulfill some type of goal of yours or something like that. I'm not sure that's just coming out. But with the chariot, there's movement forwards with this. You know, you're ready to step into the light. You're ready for this relationship or this coming together of two people, a group think as it's coming out on there, something to do with money. You could be working together. You could have a business together with this person. But there is some type of working together. So you have the world in the center of your reading today, Pisces. What's the world for Pisces? You've got the Four of Swords. Multidimensional in the moon. Making the choice to complete a cycle to start... A new beginning. You know, there's a new cycle happening. So you both choose to come together, to work on something together, and it starts this new cycle off for you. I also feel this could be something that's leaving you stable. This is also something that's going to be healing. Um, with the moon coming out, Pisces Cancer energy, that could be in this person's chart. It doesn't have to be, but this could also be something where you don't know 
where it's going to take you, okay? There is some type of mystery along this path, but you're deciding to join forces, I feel, with this person. You've also got multi-dimensional and you've got the tiger coming out there. So I feel like divine isn't showing you all the answers yet. I feel like Divine's wanting you to move forwards, follow your intuition, because that is part of, I feel, your lesson, is to move forwards following your intuition. You are a Pisces. Uh, you are, you know, the Queen of Cups. So, and you're the High Priestess. So you're someone that uses intuition. You're someone that uses emotion. You know, be proud of who you are. But there's, I feel, a lot going to come out into this new world. Um, I feel like this is just the start of a new journey. This is just the beginning, you know? What is the event horizon? What is the event horizon? You have death. The Five of Pearls, Judgment, and the Tower in Reverse. So you've got the Ten of Pearls on the back of the deck. The Event Horizon. You know, I feel like you're starting to realize, we have been seeing this in the reading, Pisces, that you need to complete that cycle to start something new. And this is bringing in, I feel, shadow work on yourself. This is bringing in transformation, a rebirth. Scorpio energy could be significant, you know, but I feel like this was something that was meant to happen, okay? This was something that was supposed to wake you. You're waking to the core, you've got judgment coming out. I was thinking of, I'm not sure if that's the seraphim angel. But yesterday, that was on my mind. Okay, so after the reading, yesterday afternoon, that was really coming out to me, and now it's on the card. So there is, I feel like, a powerful angel waking you, you know, waking you to a call, a powerful angel. You've also got the tower in reverse. So the tower, upright, something happens that you have no control over. These things get knocked down, I feel, for a reason. But there's like, I feel a truth after some type of no communication or little communication, but there's some type of rebirth. I feel like someone's wanting to come in and confuse you. So this could be that wealthy man. You know, they may be wanting to start a new cycle with you, but there's someone wanting to come in. I feel like it could be something that's going to test you. But I feel like the tower is just not coming down yet, okay? It's in reverse. So I feel like also there could be something that you need to work on, on yourself with the shadow work coming out. You know, this person could bring triggers, uh, you know, traumas could bring in triggers to your traumas that have happened in your, in your life. And this is confusing you whether this is the right thing for you or not. Um, but I feel like you know the answers, okay? And I feel like you're waking to the truth. Scorpio energy is really coming out significantly here. So Scorpio could be significant. This person, I feel, could have had some type of past with you. There could have been some type of confusion or something like that in the past, but I feel like 
this isn't breaking down yet. This is something that I feel you need to do some work within yourself. You may feel like this isn't right for you, but this is the right thing for you. Let's grab all these cards and we'll do this future energy. But you're in some type of state of confusion, I feel, whether this person is supposed to be in your life or not. You may not see all the answers yet. There may be things that are hidden from you. Which is leaving you confused. But I feel like Divine's just telling you to go with that flow of life. Keep moving forwards. Keep being your true, authentic self. You know, and the answers are going to come. The answers... The truth will be seen sooner or later. Okay. What's the sun? You have death, the page of pearls. And the tower. So see, as I said, there's some type of tower being delayed. You know, which is leaving you in confusion. So this person could come in wanting another cycle. Um, there's something being hidden from you. I feel like... But I feel like you see the truth. I feel like now in the future energy, you see the truth. After sitting back, I feel in contemplation. You've got the page of pearls coming out. So the page of pentacles, earth energy. There's some type of epiphany that I feel you have. With the sun, you see the light, you see the truth. Um, you're feeling confused. I feel in the, in the, sorry, in the current energy, in the future energy here, I feel like you see the light, you see the truth. You may go deep within. But I feel like you are doing that shadow work. You are healing. You're healing some type of way of thinking, I feel. And I feel like you're ending that. You know, you're ending that to start like a new beginning. Leo energy could also be significant. But I feel like, you know, you complete that cycle. You say goodbye. You eventually say goodbye. And move on to this new cycle in your life. So what's the Ace of Cups? You've got the Ten of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is going to lead you to being emotionally fulfilled. This new beginning that you're going to take. You've got the Five of Swords. So I feel like... Hmm, we'll just grab one more. We've got the Five of Cups. Yeah, so there's... There's an energy that wants to come in and they're going to give you some type of truth, but you're going to see the light. You're going to see the light and I don't feel like you're going to give to um, that person. And they may come in and cause some type of conflict. I have been seeing this in the readings that this person's going to come in causing some type of conflict with the Five of Swords, someone that wants to win at all costs. Um, but I feel like this person is also, you know, in loss and regret over not having you around over some type of conflict or arguments I feel in in your energy but then you've got the five of sorry you've got the five of swords and the five of cups so there's a change coming but then you've also got the eight of cups so sorry the ace <laughs> the ace of cups so this person is wanting a new beginning um, I, you know, everyone's, everyone's situation is different, you know, and I feel like you may give to this person, you may decide to give to this person, 
a new person coming into your life. Um, I feel like there's a past that you've walked away from. You see the light now and this new energy could be very healing, could be, you know, a warm energy. What is the age of Aquarius? What's the age of Aquarius? You have the Knight of Swords. The Hermit. And the Seven of Pearls. You're evolving. You've got the Age of Aquarius coming out. You've got the Hermit, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Pearls, which is the Seven of Pentacles. So you've been working on yourself, I feel, Pisces. You're awakening yourself. You're also, I feel, awakening people around you. Um, there is this energy of you going deep within, okay? You learning some type of lessons that you need to learn and I feel like you're determined to move forwards with something that is your thing. I feel like there's so much going deep within, I feel here, Pisces for you. Um, but I feel like you're going to move forwards. I don't feel like you're going to give to the old. You're determined to find what you desire in life. And I feel like you've awakened to your call. Um, you have these goals, I feel, that you want to get to come into fruition, I feel. And this person that is around you, I don't feel like... They really have your best interests at heart. So there is an energy here that you're ready to let go of. I don't feel like this person's ready to let go of you just yet. And I feel like this person is going to come in and say something. But in the end, you make the choice whether you do want this person in your life or not. You know that there's a higher purpose for you. You know, you've got an ending here. And I feel like, you know, you are focused on money in your life. There's something that you're working on in the material world. What is temperance? So you've got the two of swords, galactic souls. And the Wheel of Fortune. So the Two of Wands. So you've got Temperance coming out. Sagittarius energy. You know, that's the angel. You know there's a higher purpose. I feel like you're closed off to those things that have been weighing you down. You're learning those lessons. There's hesitancy moving forwards, okay? You've got galactic souls here. So, you know, there is people in your energy that I feel that you could be working with. You're coming together, um, cosmic children, you know, as I said, soul families really coming out. Um, I feel like something is coming towards you. I feel like a person that, like, is heaven sent, you know, that's really coming out with the temperance card. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. They don't have to, but, you know, the wheel is turning now. You're closed off to the old. You're ready for the new. And then you've got the Six of Pearls. Um, and it's coming out with Humanitarian. So you could be someone that is a helper, a healer, a star seed. What is the Six of Pearls? You have the Age of Aquarius. So yeah, that awakening is coming. You're seeing the light. You're seeing the truth. 
And the things that weigh you down, the things that keep you stuck are not keeping you stuck anymore. The only thing that will keep you stuck is yourself. And I feel like you are going deep within to learn those lessons. You've got death. So you're giving. This is a time of giving. As I said, you could be a healer or a star seed. And then you've got the alchemist. So it's all coming out for you. And 11-11, you're on the right track. There is someone coming towards you also. As I said, Divine doesn't want to show you everything that's going to happen in the future just yet. I feel like Divine's message is to keep going with that flow of life, keep moving forwards. What's meant for you won't deny you. That's really coming out also. So keep going with that flow. Keep being the high priestess. You know, but you are learning the lessons. You are ascending, I feel. You know, and you've got the alchemist coming out. So there's like a rebirth of yourself. This is an awakening. You are moving forwards. You're accepting your emotions. You're accepting who you are. You're evolving. And I feel like there's going to be some type of equal give and take that will come in in the future. But at the moment, I feel like there could be a past energy that's, you know, going to come forwards. Um, I feel like... You know, they could be some type of soulmate. But you're going to have to make a choice about this. And then you've got coffin. Okay. I feel though the energy of Pisces is ready for the new. You know, when is Pisces going to get a break? But look at that, you know, you've got the four of wands, a homecoming. You're about to walk through the archway there. How beautiful is that archway too? You know, you could be walking straight into a soulmate, letting go of that, of that old cycle. One card for Pisces. Correspondence not signed is not worth troubling about. Forget it. And we'll do some music messages. So pick your pile, one, two, or three. You can pick more than one. Just give it one shuffle. So pile number one, two, and three. So you have pile number one, he wasn't man enough, Tony Braxton. Pile number two, so much in love, the times. And number three, ready for the sky, Bajira. So listen to those songs, they will have messages and I will grab you out a Celtic Spirit Oracle card now for the collective. One card for Pisces. You have surrender, freedom, flow. So as I said, oh, surrender, let go, freedom, flow. So let go, release, release things that weigh you down, whether it is energies, whether it is ways of thinking. You've got the white stag, shape-shifting, support, other world. So you have support, I feel, from the angels. I also feel four plus one is five. That change is really coming out. There could be, as I said, there could be someone coming to help you, some type of support, someone that is a shapeshifter. So this could be an angel in disguise that's really coming out. And then you've got the tree spirit, strength, growth, stability. So that's really coming out also all over the reading. You being the alchemist, you being this person that is doing the shadow work, going deep within, uh, someone that is, you know, a galactic soul, uh, someone that 
is here to raise the vibration of humanity. But I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, being here every day and sharing your energy. I love doing these readings for the community. Um, this is a passion of mine. Just remember, I am doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.